All right, I got some one shitty ass story. To be honest with you, I got a couple of shitty stories. And yeah, bro, I feel like if someone actually paid attention to me when I was a kid, I would have been in juvenile. Like, I would have been in fucking... Come on, go you fucking shit face. Fucking drive. Shit, my fucking window's open. Everyone hears me. Anyways. Alright, so here's a shitty ass fucking story. And I have a lot of fucking shitty stories. I don't know what the fuck is up with me and shit. Like, when I say shit, I mean the shit that comes from your booty hole, okay? So I was going out with some boy. He was like, he was my first boyfriend. My first boyfriend. His name was Kaiser, okay? We lived in the hood. Okay, the motherfuckers li lived in the hood. I lived with the white people. Like, I lived on Staten Island. I lived with all the nice houses and all the white people. Unfortunately, on Staten Island, it's like, believe it or, believe it or not, Staten Island, New York City is, the time I was growing up, it was still separated. So, all the rich, rich white people, that's where the fuck I lived at, okay? But I wasn't one of those people. Like, I was, I'm, I'm black. I, oh, what the fuck, nigga? What are you doing? Who drives like that? Anyways, so my boyfriend's from the hood, and I'm from these, this white house, people town, whatever, right? But I'm like, no, I'm from the hood too. Fuck that. So I used to go to the hood all the fucking time to be with my boyfriend, to be with my friends, all my African friends, all my black friends. You know, the white people were weird as fuck. And they smelled like baloney. So I didn't really fuck with the white people so much. They were weird. Anyways, I, it got a little bit weirder with me hanging out in the fucking hood, though. So my boyfriend, we never kissed. We never had sex because I didn't even know what that was, okay? I'm 13 years old. I don't know what's going on. I just have this cute boyfriend. We ended up hanging out in the hallway. We was in a hallway, we're hanging out. It's like midnight, okay? He was gonna try to sneak me into his house, but his grandma was there, so he couldn't sneak me into his house. So this motherfucker never came back for me. So I was actually in the fucking building, in the hood, all by my motherfucking self, waiting for my boyfriend to come back. This motherfucker never came back, and I'm all by myself, 13 years old, in the fucking hood, in a, in a staircase. Like a fucking idiot. Like a fucking idiot. I was not happy about that shit. So you don't want to know what the fuck I did? You want to know what I did? I ordered some Chinese food, right? I ordered some fucking Chinese food. And I did this shit like a month later, okay? I, I ended up breaking up with the kid because he just wanted to be with me for some pussy but i didn't even know what that fucking that shit i didn't even know what sex was so he wasn't even to get nothing from me because i ain't know how to do nothing okay so i ordered some fucking chinese food with my new boyfriend and my new boyfriend actually ended up taking my virginity he's actually my son's father so we ordered some chinese food we destroyed the chinese food but then I told him, I'm like, yo, I really don't like my ex-boyfriend. This motherfucker left me in the hallway, and I really want to get him back for that shit. So I shitted in the Chinese food box with the leftover Chinese food that was in the container, okay? I squatted down, spread my cheeks open, and shitted in that box. Then I made it look nice. I put the noodles with the shit and the shit with the noodles with the rice and you know and, and I think we had spare ribs or something like that. So my shit looked kind of tasty tasty. I'm just saying if you put shit in a Chinese food box it changes the whole perspective okay. So I decided to put the Chinese food box in front of my ex-boyfriend's door. May I remind you he lived with he lived with his grandmother. Okay, so I knock on the door and when you open up the box, I wrote something in the box. It said, you are what you eat because I'm basically calling him a piece of shit. So like I said, my ex-boyfriend left me in the fucking hallway in the fucking hood when I was 13 years old. He left me there. So I ended up getting a new boyfriend like we all do, right? I got a new boyfriend and I told my new boyfriend, I want to get my old boyfriend back. So we ate the Chinese food that we ordered, most of it, and then I shit it in the Chinese food box.
okay? There, I'm, at this time, I'm 14, 13, still 14, 13 years old. We put the box in front of his house and we wrote on the box, you are what you eat. I knock on the door and I ran. I didn't really run, okay? Cause I'm actually on the, I, I'm at the cut. I'm at the cut of the hallway because I wanna see what happens when they open up the door and they open up the Chinese food box and they see my shit sitting next to some fucking noodles and fucking ribs. So, what really happened is that the fucking grandma takes the fucking box, almost gave her a fucking heart attack. She threw the fucking box across the hallway and there you see my shit and the noodles just sliding down the fucking wall. His fucking grandma, oh my God. But yeah, that's, that's, that's one of my shitty ass stories. So uh, I'm so proud of myself, I don't give a fuck. And I have a couple of more shitty stories. And when I'm driving and shit, I'm gonna tell my shitty ass stories. So thank you for watching, I love you guys. And um, if you don't mind, go, go to my last post. If you double tap on my last post, I have like 20 Facebook, um, 20 Instagram accounts. I'm gonna go through everyone that liked my last post and I'm gonna like all your pictures and shit. That's what the fuck I do. I show love, I show, I show support. Um, I love you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Oh shit. Shh. Don't, girl, don't be watching my lives. <laughs> don't be watching my lives. You're gonna find out the truth. You are gonna find out the truth, okay?